welcome back to my channel i am the sweet word of goddess and let's just do a quick general message reading for divine feminines um it's, just, it's general messages so let's see what comes out let's connect with archangel metatron so archangel metatron what are some general messages you have for divine feminines at this time feeling the world feeling the world is here you guys could be dealing with a situation and that cycle could be coming to a complete in all toxic situations. Look at the stars on her face. She's blessed. And you are a star. And the whole world is going to see you shine. Oh, let's see. What else? What else, Archangel Metatron? A higher view. A higher view. Some of you guys are very 5D and you live your life from a higher perspective. You're very spiritual, you're very positive. So you have a higher perspective on everything that's going on in your life. You know exactly what's going on and that's your superpower. And that's why you're able to keep going. That's why you're still shining. That's why uh, your, in your karmic enemies cannot defeat you because you're on a higher frequency. And because you're on a higher frequency, you're able to protect yourself. And the universe favors you. Because you're not ordinary. You're not ordinary. You are extraordinary. You are a star. You are the divine feminine. You are blessed. And that's why they cannot stand you. It's your light in the 5D. Listen, I all, I'm a Reiki healer. And I did a Reiki healing session on a client. And it was a melanin girl. And when I looked at her in the 5D, she was laying down. And she was wearing all white. And she had a gold crown, very Greek-like. She's a goddess. That's what you look like in the spirit world when you are a divine feminine. You're beautiful. She's a beautiful goddess in the spirit world. And so when these evil entities in their form, which are like half human, half snake, a whole monster, they're monsters. They're reptilians. They're ugly as fuck. So of course they cannot stand you. But don't worry, divine feminine. You're extraordinary. You're not ordinary at all. And that's why you guys probably have trouble in, troubles in a 3D matrix. So I advise you to start your own business to get out of the matrix because you're always, no matter what job you go to, you're always going to have drama because it's because of your light. Everybody's going to be envious of you no matter what job you do. I had that problem and I started my own business and I'm happy. But now, once you start your own business, you're going to have competitor, competitor enemies. So let's see, what other message is going to come out, Archangel Metatron? Sacred reverence is here. And a tall tale. Oh, hell no. This is Pinocchio. This is Pinocchio. So some of you guys dealing with a liar. A lot of deception energy is around you. A lot of deception is around you. Let's read this from the book. I'm not really sure what this card means. But just looking at the book, looking at the card, it, it looks like, you know, you hold the key to someone's heart here. So let's see. Sacred reverence. Oh, no. Please be in order. Sacred reverence. Hold on. Oh, hold on. My battery's going low. So sacred reverence means uh, key concepts, all for the truth that spirit is everywhere. Inspiration coming through you as a result of reverence, joyful living, exploring possibilities with curiosity, spiritual passion, manifesting from the starting point of the realm of spirit. Reverence is an act of deep witnessing, respect and awe. You experience it when you perceive every being and everything, every planet, rock, and tree as sacred and alive. You naturally lean into a state of bliss and harmony and a profound sense of well-being. Whatever your dilemma or question, try to reframe your perspective to acknowledge the spiritual. Huh. So you're going through a lot of sacred experiences and as you go through life, just take a moment to be blissful and just look at nature, everything in nature. It's, to me, it almost feels like a, a card of like being in a constant state of gratitude for every living thing that's around you. 
Everything is sacred. A tall tale. Listen, some of y'all dealing with a Pinocchio lying ass person right now, okay? A lot of deception energy might be around you. But even though you might be going through something toxic and sacred, uh, toxic, it's still a sacred experience. Take it as a learning lesson. So what else, Archangel Metatron? One more card for a general message. A land between. So some of y'all might be dealing with a man that might have options. who might be at a crossroads. Don't know which path to go on. Because there's two bridges here. Two bridges here. One's a faded faded to suffer decision. And one is your destiny. Opening to discoveries here as well. So a lot of like keys to discovery. Somebody found something out. Something has been illuminated. That's causing a change in someone's perspective. I told you, it's a lot of deception. There's a lot of deception to make your person go on the wrong path. There's a lot of deception for you to go on the wrong path in life. But something got illuminated. Look, waking lion. Something got illuminated. You could be dealing with a Leo. It's Leo season as well. You know the truth. You've, you've awakened to your gifts, your spiritual gifts. There's a lot of stars in this card. You know that you're the star. There's a lot of envious people that's trying to manipulate your destiny. Mm-hmm. Trying to manipulate your destiny. Clarify a, a, a tall tale. Deception. I told you, a lot of deception. You're dealing with someone who's sneaky. You're dealing with a liar. Someone that's guarded, not a wand. Maybe this person is guarding him themselves from deception. A lot of voodoo, a lot of spiritual techniques is being is involved. A lot of sneaky, deceptive people behind the scene that's engaging in spiritual warfare behind you, behind your back. Good fight, tall tale. Yep. Someone can either be keeping you mentally conflicted to hold you back from situations. Could be a financial situation in your life. It's uh, people, deceptive people behind the scenes that's doing domination spell work, binding spell work, trying to make you mentally conflicted to hold you back. If it's a, if it's a man heading towards you, it could, they could be holding him back from coming towards you. It could be holding back your finances. Someone's trying to steal from you. Could fight four of pentacles. This person is a fool for trying to use devil energy. This person is a fool for trying to use devil energy to hold you back in life. It's a fool. Okay, this could be several things. This could be um, if you're separated from a person, there's someone who's lingering that's trying to hold you back from your destiny and doesn't want your person to come travel towards you with the four of pentacles holding that person back. And there's a spiritual attachment here, possibly, or just demonic spiritual attachments, dark forces, negative thinking. About a third party earth sign here. Could find the land between. The land between Archangel Metatron. Yep. See? Taking this cup of love to somewhere it doesn't belong. Someone from this from his someone from his past. The land between means that they could they possibly live at a distance from each other. So there's deception behind the scenes that's making your person go travel somewhere. Possibly to a third party fire sign, but this is all about your ships coming in. They're doing love spells. This is, they're doing love spells, emotional ventilation. To make your person travel to a to someone from his past. Keep him stuck there. Your person's mentally conflicted. Clarify opening to discovery. Opening to discovery. There is a, I told you it's an earth sign. This is a young earth sign. This is someone new. This is an earth sign, someone. This could even possibly be a child. Children, children are out here doing spell work too, so be careful. But this could also be a young earth sign, someone, someone in their 20s, early 20s, that's engaging in spiritual warfare against you and you found out you found out about it temperance is also here this person's causing unnecessary burdens in your life
or your person might be guarded to going on dates if your person found out that someone's trying to manipulate his energy to make him go offer a cup of love to someone in his past your person could be guarded who have i nine of wands who's this person that's guarded page of wands it's deception passionate messages people are rushing in causing drama it's the person it's the nine of, it's the page of pentacles person that's doing this it's a lot of gossip deception rushing in clarify knight of swords the knight of swords rushing in all this drama knight of swords yeah if this person if your person um i think your person is guarded against incoming incoming passionate communication from maybe someone from his past a third party fire sign that keeps chasing your masculine with sexual messages here ace of wands wanting to start start over again wanting to reconcile it's blocked this communication is blocked a passionate new beginning with any woman from your masculine's past is blocked whether he knows it or not this is a saint this is a warrior ancestor it's blocked this person is trying to manifest your person to come back or this is like four of swords it's like met it's like settling or four of, swords, four of Swords is like being okay with releasing the past. He's at peace with it. He's... Clarify Four of Swords. This is, I feel settling energy though. Clarify Four of Swords. Yeah, it looks like um, this person is releasing their past and they're at peace with it. He's moving on from this. His back is toward, turned towards his commitment. So yeah, there is someone trying to declare spiritual warfare. But it looks like it's not going to work. There is divine intervention on the table. Temperance is healing the situation behind the scenes. Divine intervention. Clarify the waking lion. The waking lion. The waking lion. Someone's going through a spiritual awakening as well. And then the lion's portal just was here. Clarify the waking lion. All this drama by people from a karmic family. This groups of people. This is groups of people. This could be your family that's envious. This is, this is envious evildoers right here. There are envious evildoers that keep spying on your life who are awakened to your life purpose and know that you're going to live a financially blessed and stable life regardless if it's with your masculine or by yourself. And these evildoers are trying to sabotage it. Five of Swords. But this cycle is complete because Yahweh is not playing any games with any evildoer on the earth plane. Period. Period. That's it. You are blessed. Don't worry about anything. The cycle is complete. Because there's some type of spiritual awakening with you. You know what's going on behind the scenes because you are in the 5D. You have a higher perspective on any toxic situation in your life. And you're on top of your enemies. You're on top of your enemies and you're blessed. You're a divine feminine. You're blessed. All these reversals people are trying to do in your life, it's a moment. If you're, mas if you're dealing with a masculine or a twin flame separation, he keeps changing change his mind because of voodoo, Tower moment keeps coming down on that as well. So don't worry about it, collective. All these negative cycles are coming to a complete in your life. Alrighty, guys. That's a general message for divine feminine. I hope everyone has a blessed day today. Be safe. Bye.